So here's where I'd like to begin. The issue that concerns you most here at the World Economic Forum is, of all things, climate change. Why is that? Yeah. Well, because agriculture and food value chain contributes 30% of the greenhouse gas emissions and uses 70% of the world's fresh water. So you can't address climate change without addressing better than we have the agriculture and food value chain. Okay, what is Syngenta doing about it? Well, we, we work with farmers around the world. We trained, we've trained 20 million farmers to use conservation agriculture techniques that increase yields, but also reduce greenhouse gas emissions and reduce the water consumption needs. Now, but the, I guess what I'm getting at here is perhaps, maybe I didn't phrase the question well enough. Okay. Why is it so important to Syngenta? You're a seed company, effectively, or a pesticide, herbicide, fungicide company. Um, it, you know, the connection isn't necessarily obvious. You could sell all of those products to your constituents, your customers, without, you know, uh, giving a care to climate change. Well, climate change is a hugely important issue for the world. And if, if, if climate change gets out of hand, farming will be badly damaged. You see this as an existential problem. Absolutely, for the world and for Syngenta. <laughs> if leaders here, well, let me ask you this before I, before I pre preface the question. Do you find the other leaders here at the World Economic Forum, whether they be CEOs, whether they be political leaders, um, united? in their concern for climate change? Yes, I, th I think there's a very strong, united feeling about the importance of climate change. There's different feelings about how to address it. And certainly, the, f the ag food chain is very complicated, um, very emotional. Um, so there's not a united approach yet to how to address the ag and food chain. But I think there's a united sense that the climate change issue is hugely important for the world. So given your concern, and given your passion for the issue, what do you say to the fact that there's a president uh, of the United States who has dismissed concerns over climate change and has, in fact, brought in policies that don't require the approval of Congress um, that are, if anything, you know, in opposition to, clim to, to the concerns over climate change? Well, well, the way I would put it is that I, I believe the United States is still very committed to, to solving the climate issue. I would talk about CEOs, government people, um, academics. So there's still just a, not the Trump administration. <laughs> well, uh, s s some of the words aren't 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 totally consistent. But I can tell you that the actions that the United States are taking I is in, in line with addressing the climate issue. Well, what I'll do tell you, you in the farming industry, in farming community in the United States, the United States farmers ad adopt leading technologies first, things like no-till agriculture that significantly reduce the greenhouse gas emissions. So from a, a food agriculture standpoint, the United States is taking significant steps to address climate change, and Syngenta is a part of helping make that happen. Okay, on balance, perhaps, what then do you say to your fellow CEOs who have and continue to lobby for looser regulations on coal production, on oil drilling, on power plant emissions? I, I think that there needs to be a, 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 a global commitment to climate, to addressing the climate issue and that the United States needs to play a critically important role to that. Eric, when we saw each other last, it was at the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum in May, June in Russia. Um, you told me then that you were on the hunt for a seed acquisition. <laughs> yeah. You found one yes. in Brazil. Yes. Um, in the case of most companies, there's a little bit of digestion involved once you find a deal, but tell me about your M&A ambitions going forward. Yeah, so the, the company that we're buying will close in a few weeks is called Nidera Seeds, uh, a corn and soybean player and very important player in Brazil and Argentina, which is a critically important part of the world for agriculture. Um, we're very, look, very much looking forward to having them part of the Syngenta family, and we're looking for additional acquisition opportunities in the seeds business around the world, particularly in the United States, Latin America, and China. Now why seeds, given the fact, why just seeds, given the fact that you're active in so many parts of the uh, agriculture, you know, sort of product and services chain? Well, in the other areas, we have very strong positions today. And in, in seeds, we're number three, and we want to strengthen that position. You want to be number so, one? Over time, sure. We're number one, certainly, in certain target markets. How much do you figure it would cost you in the way of M&A to achieve that number one goal? Well, we're now have Chinese ownership, and one of the benefits of Chinese ownership is they take the long view. 
So you know, we, we're, we obviously want to perform very well in 2018, but we want to do that in a way that strengthens us for 2019, but for five years, 10 years, 20 years down the road. So we have a combination of investing in the base business. We're investing more now in research than we did before we were acquired by ChemChina and making acquisitions. So it, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to take a lot of capital over time, but it's going to be step by step, and, 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 and we have a good cash flow, and we have good earnings to pay for it ourselves. 